video I want to talk about two recent updates I've made to the script. First is the ability to have a report emailed to you. Second is the ability to set intervals on when email notifications will be sent. Okay, so looking straight at the script, um, if we look at line 49, uh, 249, sorry, you can see I've added the report to parameter. And if you set that, it's going to send a message to the recipient that you specify and it's going to attach the log file. So that's pretty straightforward. So looking here at line 202, we've got the interval feature. Uh, that's one that people have asked me about since the very first version of the script was released about four years ago. Uh, and after seeing more and more questions on it, even recently I've decided to just add it in, even though it's not something I use myself. Um, so I've added it as a parameter, which you specify as interval. Uh, and you can see that here. I've specified the intervals 1, 2, 5, 10 and 15. So if a user's password expires in less than 21 days, and we are on the 1st, 2nd, 5th, 10th or 15th day, then the user will be notified. If not, then a value will be added to the log file that says, no, they weren't notified. Uh, and if you don't specify the interval parameter at all, it will just notify them every time the script runs as normal. So let's just fire this off. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, the two new parameters here. I've got report, recipient, and the intervals. Uh, same information as before. So we'll just have a quick look in the log file. As you can see in the send mail column, some users have a value of OK, some users have a value of no. Those with a value of no, their password expiry date was outside the value we set in the interval. Uh, and that's it for all the new features. Thanks very much.